speed load characteristics of uh, two alternators operating in parallel which are speed droop characteristics solve the problem two so two alternators operating in parallel each rated at 800 kilowatt the speed regulation of alternator 1 is 100 percentage to 104 percentage from full load to low load and the speed regulation of alternator 2 is from 100 percentage to 103 percentage how would a load of 1200 kilowatt be shared between them and second one at what load will one mission cease to supply any portion of the load understand the question clearly alternator 1 is 100 percentage to 104 percentage from full load to no load so usually in the problem they will mention from no load to full load there is a drooping characteristics but here in this problem they have given from full load to no load the speed regulation is 100 percentage to 104 percentage that means 4 percentage droop for alternator 1 and similarly for alternator 2 there is a 3 percentage droop first we need to find how the alternators shares the load of 1200 kilowatt and if one machine cease to supply any portion of the load what is the additional load supplied by another machine that we are going to find solution so the first step we need to draw the speed load characteristics so alternator 1 100 percentage to 104 percentage from full load to no load for alternator 2 it's 100 percentage to 103 percentage and each alternator rated at 800 kilowatt the total load is 1200 kilowatt so to draw the speed load characteristics consider the x axis line and y axis line and this point is 100 percentage point and for alternator 1 the speed regulation varies from 100 percentage to 104 percentage from full load to no load so this point is full load and this top point is no load as you know at this top point it is 50 hertz that is the no load point so this is full load point and this is no load point so from full load to no load draw a line so from full load to no load and this is 4 percentage and that is your 104 and similarly for alternator 2 100 percentage to 1 or 3 percentage so draw a line from 100 to 1 or 3 percentage that is a little less than 1 or 4 so this point and this two alternators alternator 1 and alternator 2 having a rated capacity of 800 kilowatt so now the total load of 1200 kilowatt shared by these two alternators so to represent that draw a line in between the two speed regulation curve and consider this alternator 1 shares a load of x and the remaining load is shared by alternator 2 that is 1200 minus x this is the point where the both the alternators shares the load and the frequency at which the alternator shares the load is h so from this point to this point now we can mark the terminals using the alphabets so the top one is a this is b c d e f h g and h so this is how you need to draw the speed load characteristics for the given problem so now considering this uh, speed load uh, characteristic first one how would a load of 1200 kilowatt be shared between them so let x be the power generation of unit 1 and apply the similar triangle rule here so here for alternator 1 the first triangle is acd and the second triangle is aef so this acd and aef are two similar triangles apply similar triangle rule for these two triangles as per similar triangle rule the cd divided by ef that will be equal to ad divided by ef from the diagram we can see cd is x and ef is 800 kilowatt and that will be equal to ad so ad so total af is nothing but this f point is 100 and a point is 104 that means af is 4 and we need ad so total 4 minus this h that gives you this ad distance so ad is equal to af minus df so df is h so 4 minus h divided by af so af is from this 100 to 104 that is 4 so simplifying this cross multiplying this 800 to that side and multiplying inside the bracket and cancelling out you will be getting x is equal to 800 minus 200 h so this is your first equation 
So, in the similar way, we are going to consider the second alternator. So, for the second alternator, so the similar triangles are BDH and BFG. So, apply similar triangle rule here. So, it is DH divided by FG that will be equal to BD divided by BF. So, DH is 1200 minus X and FG is 800 and BD, BD is, so from B to F it is 100 to 103, that is 3 minus this H. So, 3 minus H is your BD and divided by BF. BF is the total distance for the alternator 2 here. So, it is 100 to 103 which is 3 here. So, now simplifying this, cross multiplying and simplifying, you will be getting x is equal to 400 plus 266.66 h. This is your second equation. Now, consider this two equation, equate this two equation, the left hand side is x, equating equation 1 and 2 and simplifying, bring all the h term to one side and finally, calculate the value of h, h is equal to 0 0.8571. So, substitute this h value in the first equation and obtain the value of x. So, the load shared by alternator 1 that is nothing but x equal to 628.58 kilowatt. So, for the total load of 1200 kilowatt, 628.58 kilowatt is shared by alternator 1. So, the remaining load is shared by alternator 2 that is 1200 minus x which is 571.42 kilowatt. And now, second one. At what load one machine ceases to supply any portion of the load? How the another machine shares this load? So, we are assuming that machine 1 ceases to supply any load. Machine 1 is ceased. So, what happened? So, at this condition, the line CD is shifted to this point at B. So, at this point, the machine 2 supply a load equal to BK here. BK. So, actually mission 2 supplies some load. In addition to that load, it also takes some extra load since the mission 1 ceases to supply any load. So, the updated speed group characteristics will be like this. So, the CD point is shifted to BK and there is no sharing here in this side. So, now we are going to apply the similar triangle rule again. So, for similar triangle ABK and AFE, so if you apply that is BK divided by EF is equal to AB divided by AF. So, from this we can calculate BK is equal to FE into AB by AF. FE is nothing but 800 kilowatt into AB. This AB is, so from 103 to 104 it is 1 and AF, AF is 100 to 104 it is 4, so 1 by 4. So, if you calculate you will be getting BK is equal to 200 kilowatt. So, that means PG2, the second alternator already supplying 571.42 kilowatt. In addition to that, if uh, machine 1 ceases to supply any load, the second alternator will supply additional load of 200. So, totally 771.42 kilowatt. So, this is how the load is shared by the alternators.